Kenny, let me a ask you, though, there's Christians. I've had Christians criticize me that, yes, we're against homosexuality, but we've got to love them. And if you say anything about their lifestyle, it's rejection, it's intolerance. And that's what the gay community uses. You know, we know love covers a multitude of sin. But you don't have to love somebody to and support their bad behavior. We got it all mixed up. Love is telling somebody the truth. Love is standing up for God's word. Love is not backing down. What parents are more afraid of is that their child is going to walk away from them. So if their child come out as homosexual, their biggest fear is that their child is not going to be with them. They're going to turn their backs. And gay children are giving their parents an ultimatum. Think about Jan Handmaker. Her daughter just came out. She's 13 years old. She was Christian. She's known all over the world. She doesn't support the Christian community anymore. She now supports her gay child. Many Christians are turning your back on Christ, and I don't understand that. And we're all going to answer to that someday. Tony? I think Tony. Well, just got one point on there's been a conflation of the word love and affirmation. We can love and we're called to love, but we cannot affirm behavior that is contradictory to the word of God and to truth and to the way God made us. And, you know, God so loved the world that he sent his son to die for us. He didn't send his son to affirm us in our sin. He came to love us so that we might be free from our sin. And, and we cannot back up from this conversation. And, and people are afraid because there is a, there's a viciousness associated with this agenda. You're attacked on social media. I mean, I, believe me, I've lived through it. We had a gunman come into our building and try to uh, kill our uh, members of our staff about seven years ago um, with 100 rounds of ammunition because of our view on marriage and human sexuality. We can love, but we cannot affirm. And if we go silent because we're afraid of this cancel culture, afraid of the social media attacks, afraid of the rejection, guess what? They will not hear the truth and they will not be set free. I, I, I'm grateful for uh, men and women like Janet who have come out and, and are not, they, they've come free and they're not just going about their lives in a quiet manner but they're rescuing others. They're willing to tell the truth. And, and I'm grateful for you. Let me, let me just thank Tony Perkins and Andrew. Tony uh, endorsed my 2009 book and Andrew endorsed my last book. And I'm grateful for you guys doing that because they have stood beside me and believed in what, you know, the Lord is doing in my life. But we need more of you to do the same. Children see certain things in a different way, but God gave them parents that helped them to see the world more accurately, help them see the more world more accurately. Yeah. I just want to draw a clear distinction too, between loving the individual homosexual and opposing the changes in our culture that people are trying to affect. So I'm going to treat any person with the same respect. I would treat anybody else. But when you tell me, now I want to teach your kindergartners the joys of homosexuality, well, now I'm going to fight you. Amen. Um, I'm going to fight you, and I'm not going to apologize for fighting you. And see, they want, to, they want to conflate those two. Oh, well, you hate us. No, but I do hate what you're doing, and I'm going to oppose that. Amen. Man, I could uh, preach on this. Matter of fact, I have. And I actually have this little booklet out observing all things. And people don't realize, they think that homosexuality is just a choice. It is a destructive lifestyle. The, the suicide rate among homosexuals is like three times the norm. The spousal abuse among lesbians is 11 times as much as among homo, uh, uh, heterosexual. It's like, I think, five times worse among homosexuals and on and on you could go. It takes an average of 21 years off of a homosexual's life. This is not just about a decision and people will say love is love. Well, there's a difference between 
godly type of love towards a person of the opposite sex and loving a person of the same sex. It is not the same thing. So anyway, there's a lot we could say about that, but this is damaging. I believe that this is like the tip of the spear and that Satan is using this to gain access with this culture of death that A.W. talked about and so many other things follow this issue. Christians have to speak out on this issue or we will lose this culture if we continue to endorse and promote uh, homosexuality, transgenderism, and all those other things.